Auntie family, it's Doll Baby 4400. How's everyone doing on this late evening? Hope everyone has had a wonderful day. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I hope you'll stay and subscribe. And to all my old family members, love you guys, bunches. So I'm trying to stay out of the camera because I wanted to make it all about the, um, the do-it-yourself, the DIY. So let's get to it with no further delay. First of all, I just want to say, before I get started, I want to thank everyone for the birthday shout outs, for the birthday um, cards, the birthday gifts, all of that that was included on my social media as well. Thank everyone for the support. I'm just excited to get chapter 54 of my life started. So let's get to this. So guys, um, this is going to be, you do not have to use this type of vase, but vase, vase, whatever way you want to pronounce it. I picked this one because I wanted something very sturdy, something that was thicker and heavier than the dollar store ones. And this is one that I had because um, somebody sent me some flowers for my birthday and this is what it came in. So you guys, this is a nice um, thick one as you guys can see, thick around the top and everything. It's probably a Walmart one or um and they just put flowers in it or whatever so it is a little bit on the heavy side that is why i like it nice and sturdy um but these are the things you're going to be needing for this um project uh the e6000 glue or whatever glue you like to use to secure your mirrors i'm going to be using this rust-oleum silver paint and this is what I'll be spraying the inside of this for. So if I have any types of um, parts of it where it may show through, you will get the silver paint, you will not see it inside. I will be using these mirrors, which I showed you before. These are the ones I'll be using, the black mirrors. Um, I told you I got these on um, Amazon. These are will be the ones that I'm using again. So yeah, guys, they're the ones that I will be using. And I will be using these charms. Not sure where, well not charms, the beads. I'm not sure where I will be placing them, but I do want to do the mirror and the pearl. So I have these pearls. I have a bag of them right here with some baby's breath. But these are the pearls I will be using. They're very small. And I may use them at the top here to go around. So yeah, so I won't have to make this video super, super long. I'm gonna try out my editing skills. Not too good with that. Probably try to do a voiceover or something like that. So these are everything you'll need for this project. So let's get started. Okay, I'm on the outside of my house and I'm getting ready to spray the inside of this vase with the Rustolian silver paint. Once it is spray sprayed completely, I did not spray the outside of it because that's where I'm going to put the mirrors. I only spray the inside of it. Make sure you are outside in a well ventilated area, such as I am. Let it dry. Two the part where I put the mirrors on. I had a little bit of trouble because the mirrors wouldn't bend, so I had to choose a different pattern, but it's okay. Um, nevertheless, I'm just going to be changing and changing my pattern up. Um, the mirrors didn't lay too well. You see where it's centering right there? That's why I had to use the spray because the mirrors does, does not bend as well. But nevertheless, it still came out great so far um i don't know the pattern i'm actually going to do but i'm i am going to do a pattern um different from what i was going to do i chose you see how this um the mirror is very sticky on this side it sticks very well and um yeah but i prefer to use something more secure because I want my uh, mirrors to stick and last. So that's why I use the E6000. So yeah, guys, I am liking the way it looks so far. Um, 
I, like I said, I had to choose a different pattern because of the shape of the vase. Um, I didn't think they would bend and they haven't. So yeah, so let's get to it guys. Okay guys, I am so overly excited about this vase, vase, whatever way you wanna call it, but it came out excellent. It's not totally dry up the top here. So I'm gonna be careful. I would advise everyone that's using the E6000 to let it dry overnight. I love, love, love the pattern that I made. Can you guys see? Um, the shape of the vase and the size of the tiles made it a little harder for me to do the complete vase like I wanted to do, but I'm happy with the way it looks. I like that it's not all blinged out, so I'm very happy with it. Yeah, I just want to make it dry. And um, yeah, I love, love, love it. I'm very excited about it. Um, getting it on with these pearls, that's my next step. Um, don't know where, actually where I'm gonna place them, but I'm excited about that and see what it looks like. These pearls are going to give it a classier look. So yeah, I wanna be very, very glammed out. So I'm excited, I cannot wait. I wanna say thank you guys for allowing me to use my editing skills. It's first time trying it and um, yeah. So guys, thank you so much. I will be back with the final product. Yeah, peace out. Okay guys, I am back. It is the next day guys. And um, I let everything dry fully overnight. And as you can see guys, it is gorgeous I must say. I added on the pearls down the bottom here. And then I added some along the top of the rim of the vase, vase, whatever way you want to pronounce it. And yes, I am so pleased with the way it looks, nice and classy and sassy and blingy. So yeah, I'm just saying that you must let it set overnight um, to get the full effect and nothing slip or slide. And um, I added on, of course, some extra pearls that I didn't wasn't going to do in the beginning but I decided to do and yeah I love 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 it it is absolutely beautiful then I added on these flowers that you see in the vase yes and I added on the pearls to match the pearls that are around the vase I'm very very happy with the look these flowers do everything to it Thank you guys for watching and subscribing. Love you guys.